What is up guys? Um, I hope you like that intro. It took me like 80 takes to do that for some reason. I want to teach you guys how to do this. It's called The Elbow Change. I got it from a book called Encyclopedia Magic. Amazing book. I actually got it from a teacher at uh, middle school for Christmas and I've been doing tricks in there ever since then. Yeah, sometimes I'll even love doing this at a convention and it'll even fool magicians, but uh, The Elbow Change, yeah, let's get right into it. All right. So the elbow change, the elbow change is pretty simple. Um, what I would do, I would suggest you learn how to do a pinky count. Uh, if you go anywhere on YouTube, type in pinky count and there's like half a million videos on how to do it. And it's honestly not the easiest thing to do. It would look much, much better if you did a pinky count, but you don't particularly have to. You get your selection to the top right here, face down. Four clubs and then the joker so you take the joker here or whatever card you like I would get a pink account me personally actually let me just do a quick rundown you get a pink account the little right on top tap the elbow and the card changes so what you would do, just take out a random card here. Oh, four clubs again. Uh, you could also do a push off single to get a break, but honestly, it would look much, much better with the pink account. But you could push it off, get that break under there. So, what you're doing, it's very, very simple. Tip your top card here, throw it right on top, just like that. So, you have a double back to back. And you're gonna pick it up middle finger yeah middle finger and thumb middle finger and thumb <clears throat> that'll pick it up from the sides here your uh first finger is gonna come into play a little bit later later on but you're gonna hold it like this you're gonna pick up your arm your elbow so your elbow is gonna be the cover so you're going to push with your index finger and all you're really doing is that you're turning the card around but your your middle finger here is giving it a little bit of a flick just like that that's the entire change it's just like that and so with the elbow the elbow is going to cover that change just like that and also when you do the change you want to quickly tap because you're going to be left revealed right here. Your card is going to split. It's going to take a lot of practice to uh, keep it from splitting. I've been doing this for an extremely long time, so I could usually get it without splitting or splitting much. But there are times you're going to do it and you have it like that. And so you want to clean up extremely fast. So you take it here, do the change, and throw it right back on top. Sometimes you will split it. You could see the back of the other card, but some people won't even notice it. Just like that. It's all with the quickness of the hand. Turn over, pop, just like that. See, that would even be uh, <clears throat> another way to do it. Like if you get your uh, selection second to the top, so say their card was the Jack of Spades, turn over the top card, which your card the Ace of Clubs. No, pick it up, pop, goes just like that. And uh, if you ever saw my uh, deck change tutorial, I talked about the uh, grip of picking it up. Uh, if you go back to that video, it's basically, I'll briefly go over it. You just push over, get the break under the second card, turn it right over, and do the change. Very, very simple. So let me go over it. Push off, turn over, middle finger, thumb. Middle finger, thumb go on the bottom. Uh, thumbs on the left side, middle finger is on the right side, index finger right in the middle. You bring up your elbow, you want it to completely cover the card so the card looks like it disappears. And the second it reaches the elbow, you want to just flick just like that. So in fast motion it just looks like it changes. And you want to practice not splitting that card too much. 
But if you do get it fast enough, people won't really even recognize. That it has two cards there. All right, guys, I think that was. Uh, <coughs> <coughs> oh, God. All right, guys, I <laughs> hope that was simple enough for you guys. Um, yeah, just practice that. Very, very easy. Um, definitely learn the pink account if you want to start magic. The pink account. It ain't easy, uh, but it, when you get it down, you'll be using it all the time. Sometimes I'll even screw it up. You go one, two, three, four, five, and then, <laughs> all right, I, never mind, screw it. I'm just gonna do that. If you're a magician, you'll understand. But uh, yeah, uh, practice, very, very easy, very easy to do. Sometimes you'll trip up uh, magicians doing it. Uh, I guess that's it, bye.